Thank you, Mr. Gaffigan. Uh, thank you all for your testimony. We will now move into the question and answer portion of the hearing. I will begin the question as questioning by recognizing myself for five minutes. So, uh, Mr. Gaffigan, I didn't hear you say you needed more staff to handle all this money. Some of the others said that. Uh, is that something that you uh, also would need uh, as a result of these uh, three and four large uh, new spending items? Um, that would be very helpful. We did receive $25 million um, uh, under the IIJA and $5 million under IRA or one or the other. Um, that'll help some, but we need auditors. Um, sir, when I started here in 1987, we had 5,100 FTEs. It went all the way down to 3,000. Congress has been very supportive in getting us back. We're hoping to get to 3,500 FTEs this year, but we really need analysts to cover the things because since 1987, the work has not gotten easier and the programs have not gotten smaller. Thank you, I appreciate that. Ms. Donaldson, you indicated uh, that you had a $300 million shortfall and the way I heard that, and you correct me if I'm wrong, what I heard was, was that that's $300 million even if we adopted the president's budget with an extra 165 for your agency and $150 million spread across all the IG agencies. Did I understand that correctly? Mike? Sorry, yeah. Yeah, we would back out of that number, whatever amount of the 150 million might become available to my shop. Uh, that number, though, of 300 million does not include the loan portfolio, which is a huge portfolio, which is why I characterize it as the first installment. Right. Of what we will really need in the end. And, and going forward, uh, you're, what you're saying is you think that uh, Congress should put ample amounts for in the Inspector General's offices and into any significant spending increase. Is that uh, correct? Yes, Mr. Chairman. All well right. Said. <laughs> now, you you brought up the loan program, mm -hmm. and I've been keeping an eye on the DOE's loan program for years. Uh, with all this new money, has your office had any discussions with DOE leadership about, since, since this report and all has come out, regarding the major risk areas that your office has identified? We have. Uh, we meet two or three times a month, and the Loan Program Office has actually uh, made two presentations to the Office of General Counsel staff. We're not allowed to consult or advise. That would uh, impinge upon our independence. But we do ask a lot of questions. So, and uh, they've already been in the queue twice with us. Well, I hope as you're asking those questions, you'll ask if they have uh, safeguards to make sure that we don't end up with another Solyndra problem, because in that case, they didn't follow the off-ramp that uh, Mr. Gavigan, there was one in built into the code and DOE didn't follow the off-ramp and as a result it cost the taxpayers additional money. I understand there's always a risk when you do a new program, mm -hmm. but in this case, as you'll recall, they defaulted in, in uh, December of 10 and didn't bankrupt until after we'd given them some, uh, I wanna say 110 million more, it might've been 125, but somewhere in that neighborhood, million more money. So are, are you, a, not advising, but asking them if they're prepared to make sure that if they get something bad, that they cut their losses as quickly as possible? Yes, that issue has come up, Mr. Chairman. I'm, I'm glad it has. Uh, I'm particularly concerned about your office's finding in the special report that actions by the loan program office officials potentially violated standards of ethical conduct and could call into question the office's integrity. Do you know about what I'm talking about? This is the... Uh, uh, yeah, this is a question I've got here that deals with uh, what we asked for Secretary Granholm seeking more information about what DOE has done to address its loan program risk factors as identified in the June 2022 DOE Office of Inspector General Special Report. That's the report I'm referring to. That's correct, Mr. Chairman. That report was a capstone report, so we pulled from previous work, some of which was even accomplished during the Solyndra era. That report was not a comment on the current loan program office. They are staffing up, working very hard, hiring outside consultants. Uh, they are rebuilding that office. So they are dealing with what you all identified previously as some potential ethical problems? Correct, Mr. Chairman. All right, I appreciate this. And I assume you're gonna to continue to monitor all of this? Yes. As you move forward? Yes, sir. All right, I appreciate that too. Um, data collection, monitoring, project to collect and analyze oversight information from five DOE programs. I'm pleased to see that you all are doing that. 
uh, including that loan program, because I have been very concerned about that. Yes, okay. Sir. I do appreciate your time here this morning or this afternoon, and I will now yield back and recognize Ranking Member Castor for her five minutes of questions. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you all again for being here. It, it is